We are back. I'm in the front upstairs porch, enclosed porch area of the uh, double dwelling clean out. And I'm going to be going through some of the dressers that they have out here and see what is inside. So join me. You never know what we're going to find. Hopefully it's something good. So yes. We are digging today. Um, this is in a room of the home that is not so exciting. I like it. This would be a great room to take photographs for eBay. Um, but in the world of cleanouts, not every room is going to hold amazing treasure. You know, you're going to have the rooms that are just your normal rooms. They've held memories and treasures to people throughout the years. But in terms of reselling, sometimes it's just not you know, your thousand dollar items. In terms of making YouTube videos, not all cleanouts are created equal and some are more than more exciting than others. Uh, YouTube has a way to try and make everything exciting because people want to watch exciting things. Sometimes the reality of hard work and, um, you know, not finding those crazy high dollar items is not all that appealing to people. So they kind of skip over that. But if you want the reality, if you want to see what goes into these types of things, if you want to see what people have actually stored for years, then you've come to the right place. So let's begin. Um, I guess I was going to say we could put, I guess I can turn the camera so you can see. Um, I've been having some problem with my focusing on my camera because it, oh, this is a Williamsburg blanket, um, because of the noise that it makes if I don't have autofocus on. But uh, if you want to see things, you're just going to have to deal with the noise. This is actually a really nice blanket. Could use this that first night we stayed here when it was freezing. Alrighty, so. Some baby yarn. Jamie Lion brand from Ames. Oh my gosh. I don't think Ames is in business anymore. Your classic. That was actually a pretty nice frame. You know, frames can be had at the dollar store now. So, or even, well, less than a dollar at flea market. So some of these are just not anything super fancy. was a dollar twenty nine. Have some more crocheted pieces. Maybe this was like their crafting a little storage for crafting. This is really cute. Topaz Beauty Dust made in USA. This is from Avon. That's a great container. You could use that to store all sorts of things right now. Well, anytime, not just right now. And some more sewing items, some threads, some beading. Breaker Breaker 1-9. Avon Decanter. These people love decanters. Whether it's Jim Beam or Avon. Here's another great, ooh, this one's really pretty. Persian wood beauty dust. Well, I wonder what that used to smell like. Stanley oval ring clips. Safety pins. Little brackets. These are great little pieces though. Put on your dresser, nightstand. Whistle for your beer. 50 cents. And look. Another Avon decanter. Avon on air. Deep woods aftershave. I'm sure that smells woodsy. We have found a lot of really nice quilts in this home. Um, some of the crazy quilts. Those will be most likely sold online. Because they are so nice. All this jet puff stuff. It's 
some card polyfill for all your making pillow needs. Hmm. Those will go back to the flea market medallion string. More blankets. House. Oh, there's, oh, 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 look at that. Oh, that's so nice. So this looks like a pillowcase. That's a nice piece. Needs a little bit of repair, but that's nice. Handkerchief box. Unused. It looks like there are some empty boxes, and then we have this. Oh, what's in here? It's your birthday, secret pal. To my secret pal. Ooh. Oh, this looks like this goes. This goes to those sets that go on your um, vanity set with the perfume bottle. It's that milk glass. All right, onto the shiver robe. I love these. baby's outfit. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Little baby booties. They're adorable. Heart pillow, furniture slide, the fake Hummel-esque figures. These people loved to make, oh, there's little, oh, there's little I love to make these little crow, um, I forget what it's called, it's not crochet, but there are all these cute other little figures around you, little bunnies, the trains, the plastic guys, oh there's even a little cat, they're adorable, we'll peel these off, look at that, even the little trees, but yeah they love to make these things. There's a lot of them scattered around. I think this is like their, oh no. This is like their plan for the house. It has where pictures go and everything. That's interesting. For a doll and some ribbon. Oh, another purse. Marcus Brothers of Miami. A lot of the purses here look like they were like never used. Bin accessories, a dollar ninety nine. That's a great handle. And this little guy actually has some stuff in it. We have Sewing Susan. Nice tape measure. And then we have some buttons still on the card. Good little flea market pile. And then folks, you guessed it. <laughs> More of these. These little guys are cute. The little snowmen. What do they want? Oh, they're Santa. Save him. Yeah, the, these drawers are filled with these things. Here's the general, the general store. You know, this took a lot of time to put together. I hope they made a tissue box cover because I could use that. We'll take those out then. And we do have bottom drawers. Oh, looks like this one. And this guy has this lovely blanket. Lots of blankets in this house. Some more fabric. Shower curtain. Oh, they don't have a shower here. They only have tubs. More fabric. And more fabric. And the newspaper inside is from what year? 
1995. Again, this one was from the 1940s, but I can just imagine what has been tossed throughout the years. You know, things that they've outgrown, things that they felt they no longer needed. Man, don't want to think about it. <laughs> No, 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 no. This bottom drawer. Oh, this is so cute. This little kid's outfit jumper with pegs on it. There's a tag. It says vintage embroidery child's bib overalls. Six dollars. Those guys are cute. A sad creature. It's a sad little bunny. Random piece of clothing, imported fabric. All these are cool. Again, commemorative decals for the bicentennial. You find these everywhere, or you find bicentennial stuff everywhere, and they have a lot of these. Hawaii. This would have been used to hold your travel documents. We have some brochures, a guide to rare birds. I think it's for the decanters. The pilgrimage of our ancestors. Utility tester manual. And we have these great monogram letters and numbers. Those are fun. Is this a bag? It's like a vest for a little kid. That's cute. I like that. We have a heating blanket, which I would not use. <laughs> Empty. Found nothing. One of these older wallets. These would often crack and get so brittle, but this one's still in really nice shape. A Sears amplified noise cancel breaker breaker. No case. I have some paper. That's a Declaration of Independence. Oh, this is from the Masons. This is from. I just have a year. I don't see one. Oh, there it is. 1962. I have another little envelope. Oh. Oh, wow. These are fun. So these are stickers. But they're Masonic stickers. Like that you would put on your car. Originally 99 cents. There's a whole bunch of them. Master Mason. Oh. Bicentennial. The right to bear arms. These are fun. You can always count on finding bicentennial thing. Always. friends in there. Oh, her eyes. <laughs> oh, poor girl. They become a little glazed over. That's a nice brooch she has. A nice dress. She's she's seen a lot of things. Her and her friend that's still in there. Stand up, let me see. Okay, we're just gonna lay her down. She's not working. <sighs> Ooh, she's, you gotta be careful with her. She's 
She's porcelain and her, <laughs> I could use some of her hair. Her fingers are still intact and um, she's still on her stand. So, anything crazy exciting? No. Anything fun? Yes. And that's just how it happens during cleanouts. Um, Sometimes you find rooms filled with treasures. Other times you find rooms filled with some really great uh, flea market items. And then other times you find that good old bicentennial stuff. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed yet again another clean out video and probably still more to come. Uh, lots of stuff to go through yet. Lots of treasure to be found and lots of fun to be had. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to click on the thumbs up button and stay tuned for more adventures here at Paper and Moose. But until then, I hope you have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.